I want to welcome everybody to the Transition Designer Tutorials. In this basic tutorial, we would like to show you what is possible with the Transition Designer. Which functions and combinations are available to get you up and running fast? Here you can switch between the different effects groups, push, wipe, rumble, and dissolve, and alter their parameters. It doesn't matter if it takes place linear, or if it comes in softly, or goes out softly, or soft out on in. Let's take a look at the whole thing. The push is by itself relatively unspectacular. But I can of course define for example here if I want to have the push come in from the top to the bottom. With the wipe effect for example, I can change the angle. It should fade from the top to the bottom and have a soft border. Depending on the settings, I can adjust how soft the border should be. We're going to get to the rumble function later, because it's actually for a different application. In the case of the dissolve function, I can define the nuances. A simple soft transition can be combined with any random color of choice. Thus a disperse, here for example, the color red. Then I can determine what percent of the transition's time should be red. It's kind of like dip to color. The whole thing can of course completely cover the entire picture. For example, to divide a company logo for a trade show or a corporate film. Additionally, I can specify the dark areas to be faded first. or that the lighter colored areas be faded first. Also, I can determine the designated position when it should start. In order to do this, click here. You will notice the hairline cross appears. With it, I can determine that the tower comes in first. Of course, this isn't optimal. Therefore, I can leave the effect a little softer and define the exact start position. The next effect we want to take a look at is the rumble. I'm simply going to take this box and let it fall into the picture. I can also determine how many times it should hit the floor. Certainly you can intensify the effect, control it how you like, and define how much. All of the effects are controllable over the keyframes. Well, let's look at the whole thing in detail. Take the wipe effect. I can change the angle. Now I start putting the transition on slightly tilted. And then the dissolve should continue moving tilted. and starting here in the other direction, then going upwards. This way, I can set my keyframes rather quickly. With two mouse clicks, two keyframes. All of these effects can be combined with one another. For example, let's take the dissolve with a simple soft dissolve, just like the one that comes with Premiere. Just a standard dissolve. Additionally, I can combine it with the blur effect. The blur should go in both directions, or the optical blur should run out vertically or horizontally. We are going to let it in our example, this time in both directions. The optical blur is at this point a little intense, but because of the combination of optical blur and fade, it works more gentle. I can make the out point a bit softer and naturally incorporate the glow effect since the glow effect is rather intense in our example. 
It's best to go to the middle of the transition and set the intensity because at this position you can easily see how it's going to look when it's done and decide on the correct direction. You can also modify the annealing colors in their brightness as well as intensity. For instance, a little bit into yellow with the underside staying black. Let's check out the results now without the blur. You can see here that it glows slightly. Of course, with this picture you need to find the right place to integrate this effect. I would leave the highlights wide in this situation. With this approach, you can combine every effect, like before, with both of the others. The plugin includes many presets, which will make your work much easier. Like this one, the push effect, with extreme horizontal blur. And finished. I can throw a glow effect in too. This one here is a little bit too intense for this material. That means I can turn the intensity of the glow back a bit. So now it's just a bit more subtle and not so dominant. A part that from every effect has its own set of presets. You can create your own presets and easily save them under Save Preset. And under Complex, you can find the link for all of the more complex design presets. There are also effects that are based on Photoshop files. To find out how to use those and more, take a look at our extra tutorial. In addition, you can also do text effects and graphic effects with the Transition Designer. Here is a simple example. The text appears slowly. As it is faded in, the beginning already starts to fade out. One more time in real time. And how does this effect work? I take my text and lay a transition over the complete length of the text. I could then, for example, put a standard preset on it. It's noted in Tooltip which presets are suitable for text effects. Let's take the standard preset and lay it on the effect. It's finished. The combinations and possibilities are unendless. Just try it out. That was our basic tutorial for the Transition Designer. Thanks for watching and we'll see you at the next video.